My name is Dipal Borua from Bangladesh, founder and chairman of Bright Green Energy Foundation. I build Gamin Shakti also and Gamin Bank co-founder. And you're also the first winner of the Zayed Future Energy Prize, yeah. correct? Uh, I'm lucky I got a uh, first Zayed Prize, future Zayed Prize winner in 2009. So in Bangladesh, we build a very strong foundation called Bright Green Energy Foundation out of these resources. Now I have 1,500 staff and uh, more than 100 women staff and also train more than 5,000 women. Uh, they are gradually involved in solar installation or maintenance and also a green energy business. Gradually we develop them. And uh, one of the main intention, uh, my intention to bring Bangladesh as the first solar nation in the world. Uh, so far, 4.5 million system already installed in Bangladesh because I introduced in 2000, 1996. It is 20 years this year. So I believe the solar home system is the largest in the world. Now we are trying to install solar irrigation pump, 20 kilowatt per piece. So that irrigate 120 bigger and around 50 farmer one uh, system. Uh, there are 1.3 million uh, irrigation pump by diesel run, gradually we replace it. So after solar home system, I believe solar irrigation is coming up. Number three, we are rooftop. We are encouraging rooftop and government also planning to introduce rooftop program in Bangladesh. You know, Bangladesh has a plenty of sunshine. 365 days, 340 days we have sunshine. So we can take the advantage of the sunshine. And then and megawatt project also coming up. And you said you started in solar wind, what year? Uh, I started in 1996 solar home system and uh, wind pump also, wind energy, uh, 1.5 kilowatt, 3 pieces and 10 kilowatt. I found three months is good, July, August, September, but other nine months there is no wind speed, so we have a hybrid, so it is uh, tough to maintain the hybrid system. So we considered our mind for solar, home system, solar energy, and it's growing. Uh, you know, more than 100,000 people are employed by solar home system because the industry is growing. There are only one battery company now. I believe there are 20 battery company. Uh, we have a solar factory now, six solar factory in Bangladesh, assembling factory. We have a uh, what we call LED factories coming up. I think uh, Bangladesh become a a green renewable energy revolution in the forefront. Well, one of my one of my favorite stories on Clean Technica last year, and we published thousands of stories, was about the 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 solar energy revolution in Bangladesh and how that's sort of a story that doesn't get captured in a lot of the media, which focuses on China, India, Germany, Australia, the U.S. Uh, so it was a really popular article. Great stuff. Uh, I'd have to dig to find the figures again, but how much has how much has changed in the past year? How much, how much new solar has come? Yeah, actually, you know, uh, initially we have to install the system, very small number, but you know, every month it go up to, in 2013, 88,000 in one month, 85,000 in one month. Now, because 20 years we are doing it, uh, electricity, grid electricity is also coming, and the solar also grown. So every year, one million system. Now, every I would year, say every one year, million one million system solar for the last few years, now, uh, it is be gradually, uh, uh, the market is saturated now. I would say now 35,000 per month is coming up. But another industry... 35,000 home solar, solar systems. Solar home system per month now. By 2021, I believe, except some hill tracks area, other area will be covered by solar home system. Because it's now very popular and cost effective. You mentioned that uh, in people talking about the China, India and other places. But Bangladesh is the land of solar home system. It is the biggest number in the world. Number of population wise, if you multiply by five people in a family, uh, one system, so around five million, 25 million people uh, benefiting and improve their livelihood. From one solar. is the lighting, one for uh, mobile phone charging, another for television, now is fan because of LED is maintenance gone. I so think you're seeing the largest number in the world. You're saying even, even today, 25 million 25 million people in today Bangladesh. they are enjoying solar energy in a rural area, upgrade area, but in urban area also coming up. So I would say if we can cover more than 50% people of the country, we would say this is a solar nation. No, I mean, it's a stunning figure. I mean, you see big targets in, in big developed countries that are like a million or, or uh, so any, a, you know, 26 million people. Yeah. So you think it would be the first country to be basically solarized? Solarized, yeah, that's uh. true. That's the, our dream. We have a Bangladesh Solar and Renewable Association, Central Bank, and all the financial institutions now graduating in with green financing. I believe 
it would be a solarized country, solar nation that I've seen. It's very exciting. So we have to keep keep following, and keep, uh, yes, yes. I think we should do maybe like a quarterly updates or something on Bangladesh. To, yeah, we to can get more update you every six months or every year. If you come here, I will update you. And because uh, I'm the president of Solar and Renewable Association in Bangladesh, so and personally, I'm involved with this clean tech development. It's not only uh, I designed solar home system in 1996. At the cost of kerosene, you can buy a solar system. Even a beggar now in Bangladesh buying a solar home system because they're begging and they're earning some money, but they're paying only $2 per month or $1.5 per month. But they uh, have a light, they have mobile phone charging. Everyone, you need a light and mobile phone, even a, one a small fan or a television they are watching. So these are possible by solar home system because uh, the LED things and also I mean, you were saying out. you were saying when you started, uh, solar was like seven dollars a watt, and even then it was just a few months. Yeah, uh, uh, so seven dollar per peak watt. First I bought, then gradually five dollar, four dollar, three dollar. Now close to half dollar. I believe uh, now hundred percent people at the at the cost of kerosene you can buy a solar home. It's so cost effective. Initially it was too much expensive, but we designed financing, we designed payment system, we designed the technology. And once you have large scale operation, cost will minimize, cost will be very uh, low. At the same time, you have a manpower growing, employment is also growing. So these are benefiting both ways. And with uh, about 100,000 employees uh, in the solar industry in Bangladesh. Uh, because uh, I, I would that's say... Gotta be, is that one of the largest industries? It's the largest industry because there are uh, link-up industry, battery industry, cable industry, charge controller producing, lighting. So if you consider that, it is more than 100,000. Mm -hmm. But 100,000 in the rural area, they are installing, maintaining the system at the industrial level. Well, again, thank you so much and congratulations on being really the first winner of such a prestigious prize. It's a, it's a, it's a stunning honor. So. Yeah, this is a very good for us. This is a, a, a kind of fast Jai Future Energy Prize. This is a really a big platform. So we can talk about our experience. We can share our knowledge, uh, what you mentioned, that we can spread the message of the uh, Abu Dhabi government and the, uh, and the, the, the spirit of the Jai Future Energy Prize and also the legacy of Abu Dhabi, uh, I think the founding and, father of Abu Dhabi. And we were saying now, I mean, now there are so many organizations and, and companies that are uh, that are going forward with the model that you that you developed uh, in other countries, in Africa, in Asia, in South America. Now it's like common, there's yeah, hundreds of... Yeah, that's true uh, because uh, all the Jayat Prize winners who have a breakfast meeting every time, they say, oh, we learn about the Bangladesh experience, it's very good, so we like to replicate it in a bigger way. They are doing a small thing, it's very good. In, in Malawi, they, you see, they have a solar academy, but they want job because training is okay. Once you have a trained young people, but you need a job to do it. So that's why I think you need a large scale operation. It is a, is a replicable, is a, a scaling up. So I think Bangladesh showed a one way is scaling up. I think this is the where, you know, uh, only 1%, 2% people have electricity in different African countries. I mm. think solar energy, solar home system and solar other uh, uh, mechanism can work very well in that. And they, this experience is a, a positive demonstration, positive experience is doable. It's not only one year, two years. It's 20 years we are doing yeah. and it's growing. I agree. <laughs> Thank you.